Thanks. I don't know if we're ready for it, but in about in a month, we'll all be talking about the triple digits returning to the valley. And we're no stranger to just how deadly and dangerous our weather can be. But a new report is out that shows our weather can also cause financial pain. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight for 12 News at 5. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kariba Devine. 12 News journalist Colleen Socorro reports that not everyone agrees that the heat cools down our economy. Yes. Passes 7 0. <laughs> Cheers at Phoenix City Council Tuesday. I've worked on plenty of job sites in Phoenix in which workers were asked to complete projects in 110 plus weather with no access to clean, cool water, shade, or place to rest. For further protections for contracted employees in the heat, requiring contractors with outdoor employees to have access to cool drinking water, shade, and air conditioning inside vehicles with closed cabs. This, as the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco finds in a new report, 20% of the workforce in Phoenix work outside with little access to air conditioning, noting productivity goes down in the heat. Please know that this ordinance is going to improve the quality of life for many of our brothers and sisters that work outdoors, especially during the summer. The heat, the report finds, also disproportionately affecting workers of color. Chicanos Por La Causa's Director of Workforce Solutions, Dee Pinkston, says they're working to get young people and adults into career paths out of the heat. You don't have to take a job where you think you might have to go out in the heat. We can skill you up. We can do it for free. It's short term. You can receive a industry recognized credential. Last summer, more than 600 people died from heat related illnesses. In analyzing FEMA data, the report says heat waves cost Arizona six million dollars. Two thirds of that related to death and injury from the heat. We took the report to Danny Seiden, president of the Arizona Chamber of Commerce. Do you agree with their assessment? Well, first of all, I think it's fantastic that the Fed has figured out that it gets hot in the summer in Phoenix, something that all of us have known for, for years. We've been living through these summers. We're well aware of it. Do I agree with their assessment um, that it'll overly damage our economy? Absolutely not. Seiden argues Arizona economy continues to grow in the summer heat. Coming into 2022, which is the last time we have those numbers right now, the, uh, the amount of revenue from tourism, visitors, retail all went up, even through a hot summer. Seiden says Arizona businesses, part of the chamber, do work to protect workers. They allow a lot of remote work. They change the hours and make it safer for their workers, go out of their way to provide a safe working environment, and we, we, we get through it. Getting through though, Arizona's state climatologist Dr. Erin Ann Saffel says is harder with warming nighttime temperatures. We look at the last 30 days, the daytime temperatures, yes, are getting hotter, but we're also seeing the nighttime temperatures getting much hotter, so three times hotter at the trend than what we're seeing daytime temperatures do. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.